What's up everyone? My name is Carl and welcome to my first Ubuntu server 16.04 LTS tutorial. Today I'm going to be covering Gary's mod. Uh, it's very similar to the 14.04 video except it's newer. I also changed uh, some of the sudo commands uh, for some security reasons. A lot of you guys have been pointing out that I've been overusing sudo and I uh, tend to agree since I sudoed everything in the last set of videos. So this one I'm going to sudo where I have to and not sudo where I don't need to. So let's go ahead and begin shall we? First thing you want to do is go ahead and open up your favorite terminal program such as putty and log into your server. The first thing you should do is update. So sudo apt dash git updates once the updates finished go ahead and run an upgrade so sudo apt dash git upgrade and process any updates also once the updates are finished we'll need to install some software so sudo apt dash git install the first one's going to be lib 32 gcc1 second one's going to be lib 32 std c plus plus six and screen Excellent, once that's finished, let's go ahead and make a new directory. So mkdir, we're gonna call it steam cmd. Go ahead and enter that new directory. Uh, go ahead and download the uh, steam cmd Linux package. So that's wget http colon forward slash forward slash media dot steam powered dot com forward slash installers forward slash steam underscore oops sorry steam cmd underscore linux dot tar dot gz excellent once we have it downloaded we need to unwrap it so tar uh, dash x v x i'm sorry z f steam and you can go ahead and just press tab to auto finish once that's finished, let's go ahead and open Steam CMD for the first uh, first time. So that's going to be dot forward slash Steam CMD dot sh. Once it's finished updating and installing, we can go ahead and log in as anonymous. So let's log in anonymous. Once we are logged in as anonymous, let's go ahead and do a force underscore install underscore dir, and uh, we're just going to do it uh, dot dot forward slash gmod. Once that's finished, we're going to go ahead and install the uh, gmod server. So it's going to be app underscore update. It's going to be four zero two zero, and then validate it because you want to make sure that it's correct. Be patient. This could take a minute. Once it's finished on, we can go ahead and quit out of Steam. Uh, next we want to do is we want to open a new screen. So screen uh, dash capital S, we're going to call it Gmod. We're going to go ahead and change directory to our new Gmod folder. So cd dot dot slash Gmod. Then we're going to go ahead and run the server. To do so, it's going to be period forward slash SRCDS underscore run dash game space Gary's mod plus map space GM construct. Uh, since it's the first time we're running it, it may take a minute, so just be patient. Excellent. Once you see VAC secure mode is activated, the server is now running. We can go ahead and hit Control AD to detach from the screen. We do use screen uh, because when you, if you don't use the screen and you close the terminal program, the server will, will auto close. If you attach it to a screen, you can close PuTTY without any issues. Um, uh, now, if you are on an internal network, you'll need to port forwards, ports 27005 and 27015 both TCP and UDP, as well as allow them through the firewall if you have one installed. Um, 
And uh, that's really it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Each, uh, every tutorial for Ubuntu server in the future is going to be on the 16.04 LTS platform uh, until the next LTS platform, which would be, uh, I think, 18. Um, but anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, show me a like. If you have a suggestion for another video, leave it in the comment section. I'll do my best to get to it. I'm going to be uh, covering some new uh, tutorials that I haven't touched yet, as well as go back and doing uh, some other ones. Um, that I have done for Ubuntu 14, but I'm going to be doing it in the, in the Ubuntu 16 platform. And anyway, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video.